Dave, there's not a person who's going to watch this tape who hasn't read the fourth commandment, hasn't, <laughs> hasn't taught the fourth commandment, hasn't undertaken to keep the fourth commandment, and who hasn't failed to keep the fourth commandment. Why do we have such a problem with this? Yeah, I, I'm thinking of my son-in-law, Jake Bland, who works with Youth for Christ uh, USA in our marketing. He's the VP of marketing. And, uh, and how, what a genius he is when it comes to things like branding. So I almost feel like uh, the fourth commandment needs a, needs a branding expert, you know. It needs somebody who's going to help work with it because it is a, it feels like a non-starter, a big old thud. As soon as I might start with a conversation with somebody about, um, about what feels like a, a just duty. It just feels like a, 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 either a lot of don't do things and, or um, some reason to sort of decelerate my aggressive and fulfilling life. Uh, you know, on and on it goes. And, and um, I think there are distortions, honestly, in the way that we try to lean into and practice Sabbath that help explain why it's not attractive and life-giving and joyful. So when I imagine uh, Sabbath being uh, well engaged, uh, it's, it's not actually to start with the practice, it's to start with the person, it's to start with God, it's to start with uh, 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 making a day that's all about being with God and elevating Him and honoring Him and, and, and figuring out how to reorient the next week so that it's more with God, and it's just life with God. And, uh, and, I, and I think that absent of that, now I've got, I've got some people lean into the Sabbath as a, a big old me day, a big spa day, if you will. Some people lean into it as a, a, a necessary thing that you might, you might experience from any good mental health counselor and say you need more, more margin in your life, your life is too full. Uh, some people lead in it with a precise scrutiny because they want to be obedient to Scripture, and so they're scrutinizing, like, which day I can do this on, and I, I want to get this right, and I want my kids to grow up fearing the Lord and loving the Lord, and I don't, and and all of that just feels like it's not anywhere close to what, what you see in Jesus' pattern, which was, which exemplified man. Um, uh, man was not made for Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man. But it isn't licensed then to go party. Yeah, all right. You could just imagine people around go, oh, good, it's party time. It's, it's, Jesus leaned into it with utter respect, like he did, I think, other commandments in the, in the, in the Sermon on the Mount. It's, it's not that these go away. It's there's a, a depth and a life-giving nature to these things. It's not that, uh, you know, don't just not be angry or not murder, don't be angry. Uh, not just, you know, sexual immorality out there, but in your heart. Well, what's Sabbath keeping look like there? And I think the starting place is very attractive to me. It's like more of life with God. More of life with God who gives me joy. More of life with God who gives me life. Figuring it out regularly with Him. That feels like it honors God. 